Do you have a burnout personality test? Do you ever feel like your candle is almost burned out? Or do you ever feel like you are stressed out and have no more energy left in your body? It can be the first sign of a burnout, something you have to be aware of. This test will help you get a clear picture of your burnout possibilities. Welcome to Personality Lab. Are you ready for the test? Take out your notebook and write down the points according to the scoreboard, which is one point for never, two for rarely, three for sometimes, four for often, and five for very often. Make sure you write down this first thing that comes to your mind to give you the best results. And here we go. Question one. I don't know whether it's my body or my emotions, but I just don't feel like doing anything. Do you feel that not at all? Rarely? Sometimes? Often? Or very often? Number two. I find myself having unfavorable thoughts towards my employment. Do you feel that not at all? Rarely? Sometimes? Often? Or very often? Number three. I have a reputation for being harsher and less compassionate toward individuals than they possibly deserve from me. Do you feel that not at all? Rarely? Sometimes? often or very often. Number four, I have a low threshold for frustration and it doesn't take much for my coworkers and team to set me off. Do you feel that not at all? Rarely, sometimes, often or very often. Number five, I have the impression that my coworkers do not fully comprehend or value my contributions. Do you feel that not at all? Rarely, sometimes, often, or very often? Number six, I have the impression that I don't have someone to talk to. Do you feel that not at all? Rarely, sometimes, often, or very often? Number seven, I don't feel like I'm making as much progress as I should be. Do you feel that not at all? Rarely, sometimes, often, or very often? Number eight, I am being put under an intolerable amount of pressure to achieve success. Do you feel that not at all? Rarely, sometimes, often, or very often? Number nine, I have the impression that the benefits of my employment are not providing me with what I am looking for. Do you feel that not at all? Rarely, sometimes, often, or very often? Number 10, I have the impression that I am working in the incorrect field or for the incorrect company. Do you feel that not at all? Rarely, Sometimes, often, or very often. Number 11. There are certain aspects of my job that drive me crazy. Do you feel that not at all? Rarely, sometimes, often, or very often. Number 12. I believe that the politics of the organization or the bureaucracy of the organization get in the way of my capacity to execute a decent job. Do you feel that not at all? Rarely, sometimes, often, or very often? Number 13. I have the impression that there is more work to be done than I am actually capable of completing at this time. Do you feel that not at all? Rarely, sometimes, often, or very often? Number 14. 
I have the impression that I do not have enough time to do all the tasks that are necessary to perform a work of a high grade. Do you feel that not at all? Rarely? Sometimes? Often? Or very often? Number 15. I find that I do not have as much time to plan as I would want, despite my best efforts. Do you feel that not at all? Rarely? Sometimes? Often? Or very often? All right, now let's calculate our scores. Scoreboard. Let's calculate those answers, and I will remind you once again, for every time you say not at all, it's one point, rarely is two points, sometimes is three points, often is four points, and very often is five. If the score is between 15 and 18, no sign of burnout here. If the score is between 19 and 32, then you must have likely reached a severe state of burnout. It would be a good idea to perhaps reach out to a professional in the field of mental health today. If the score is between 33 and 49, be cautious. If any of the following apply to you, you may be at risk of experiencing burnout. A number of the scores are quite high. If the score is between 50 and 59, then you have a high chance of suffering from burnout. Take action to prevent it. If the score is between 60 and 75, then there is not much evidence of fatigue here unless specific elements exist, exceptional in its severity. And with that, I think we're ready to wrap up today's video and today's test. So what did you think about it? Did you score where you thought you were or did anything in our video test surprise you? Now let me thank you all for taking the test with us. We certainly hope it helped you out whichever score you may have finished up with. And I always want to hear how you did. So please make sure you leave your scores for us in the comment section down below. I would love to hear how you did. There's no right or wrong answer, but we're just curious how everybody scored. Hey, also please like and share our video with your friends and family and others who would like to take our personality test. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more and you hit that bell icon you'll always be notified of our latest test as soon as we have them uploaded you will stay informed with us thanks again for spending time with us today and we look forward to doing it again we'll have another test for you soon have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time thank you for watching